Okay, welcome back to another episode of Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. And um, since I got a request from one of my viewers, I figured I thought I would do a quick, um, quick explanation of how I glue fuselage halves together. Um, it, it's a really basic thing. You know, I'm not saying what I do is, you know, the awesomest, best way to do it. It's the way I do it, and it's the way it works for me. So I figured, Max, this is for you mainly, I would uh, give an explanation of how I do it. So first let me make a uh, little disclaimer here. I've only built, this is the, this will be the third aircraft kit I've completed since uh, I got back into modeling about three years ago. Um, I've actually got another kit mostly built but I haven't worked anymore on it for various reasons. But I've done the same method on each one and I have to say that what I've done is not entirely due to my skill but the kits are decent. Um, if you have a good kit that fits together well it makes it a lot easier but the method I use will work on kits that maybe don't fit together all that great now some of the jet uh, aircraft that have you know upper portions and side you know I don't know if this would work on that but for World War II aircraft with a simple split fuselage this is how I do it so what I would do is I would get the two uh, fuselage halves make sure they're all cleaned up. I would test fit them and make sure there's no um, there's been times when along the the seam you know before it's glued together you know along the seam there might be a uh, a push pin mark that sits proud of the rest of the seam of the fuselage so you know you've got the uh, this is going to be grossly exaggerated but say this is the, you know the two seams right here or the two halves, and this would be the seam. Um, a push pin mark that sticks out. Obviously not this big or anything like that. Make sure that's perfectly flat, shaved off. Just make sure everything fits together smoothly and completely just by holding it together. So after I've determined that it, it fits together like it should, I also look to see if like Maybe because this all is fit together, this up here might be a little off, you know, twisted due to warpage of the, the parts or whatever. Once I've determined all those factors, I kind of figure out what I'm going to do. So in the case of this one right here, what I did um, there is this part here, then it jumps back to this part here. Then this little thing here, then this part, okay, that is, those are all of the cement points of the fuselage itself, not counting cowlings and all that. So what I do is using, um, to me extra thin, and the reason I use this, I'll explain as I go, but to me extra thin is the one I like to use. So what I would do is I would get this part together, make sure it's perfectly lined up that the holes, you know, like in this case, this hole here matches, this part back here was flat, and I just make sure that it's as flat and level as possible, you know, using the light, I just make sure that it's not, you know, one part isn't higher than the other. And then I use my, to me, extra thin, I just touch it on the inside, the inside edges, and let capillary action just pull it through the seam, and then I just squeeze it together. And if it's a nice tight fit, and depending on how much cement gets in there, sometimes you'll get just a little ever so slight bead of uh, melted plastic or dissolved plastic from the cement will ooze out a little bit, and that's perfect. It's almost like it's its own filler. So I let that dry really good. Once that has dried the way it should, <clears throat> then I move on to the next section. which in this case was this seam here. So since I've already determined that it all fits together the way it's supposed to, 
I just do the same thing. Um, I might let it, before I squeeze it, I'll take my cement, say this is the brush on my cement, and you know the wing wasn't on here. I'll touch it to this edge here, and again let capillary action pull through. You'll see it go through. Then I'll do it from this end here and see it pull through. And if it doesn't pull through all the way, like if I have like a dry spot here, then I'll just take just a little bit of the cement and touch it right to the um, the seam line here, um, the panel line. I'll touch it there, you know, where it won't be noticeable, it won't mar the, the plastic, and it'll suck it through the rest of the way. Same thing. I hold it together, make sure it uh, sets up properly. Then I do this little part back here. Once that's all done, then I flip it over. And I do the same thing here. I just touch it on there, let it pull through, and then once everything is dried and you get that little bead along the edge, then I just take my um, X-Acto blade and I just scrape it smooth. It doesn't take any, but I make sure it's really dry. You don't want it to be rubbery because it'll just kind of smear, so I let it sit overnight. Then just pull along and just scrape that little bead off and then you get a nice smooth um, seam line. Now, if for some reason, say this whole bottom part was nice and flat and smooth, but this part was not, say this side, you know, looking down on the plane like this, if the two halves were like offset just a little bit due to warpage or, you know, whatever, then what I would do is I would get a clamp. And generally, these clamps here will work fine. And you want to put it on opposing sides to, you know, the opposing side of the warpage. So, like, if this side here is higher, then I would use the clamp and put pressure here and here. And sometimes I have to use a little piece of rubber or something like that so it will grip the plastic. And just pull it until it is flush. Then once it's flush, I carefully apply my cement and it's good to go. So with the kits I put together, the three completes and the one that's incomplete, um, I did put the fuselage together on that one, it's worked. Now if you have a really bad kit and if it's just really out of control then it's going to take uh, filling um, with uh, whatever type of filler you like to use. It's going to take some filling and um, some sanding and then probably rescribing of the panel lines. But for the kits I've done, and you know, most I think most modern kits are pretty much going to be like this because you know the quality is just much better than it used to be. But that is the way I do it. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, it's real brief, and in the future when I start my uh, modeling for beginners uh, series, I will probably be doing some aircraft just to kind of uh, you know show how it's done. So until that time, I hope this explanation sufficed. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to uh, answer them. And if you have any additional uh, suggestions or tips on how to glue fu fuselages together, and, you know, any plane parts, I would appreciate them. So thanks again for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will catch you all next time.